Hello, hello, happy Saturday. I am at Nature Coast Ministries Thrift Store in Homosassa, Florida. I've only been here once before. I do remember the prices were a little bit higher, but they had some really, really nice stuff. So I'm gonna try it again. And I also see a fill a bag sale sign out front. So let's go investigate. All right, so this thrift store is in a little shopping plaza at the end of Homosassa. I saw the fill a bag sale, so I'm excited to see if we can find any clothes. I didn't really look at the clothes last time I was there, but I know they do have dollar racks here, just like at my other thrift store. However, these clothes here, when you first walk in, are actually their boutique clothes. So they are name brand ones that are a little bit more. Like this Nike Funk shirt, you can see is $10, which is a good price if you're buying it for yourself. However, if you're buying it for resale, it's a little bit too high. And as you see, they have a lot of collectibles. So I'm really, really excited to see what they have. This little vase, I couldn't read the signature and I think they had it at $5. So that was a little too high for me, but they definitely have some interesting things. And if you guys see something I should have looked at that I missed, definitely let me know. This Halloween shirt is definitely vintage. It was on a Hanes tag, but they had it priced at, I believe, $5. I think it would probably sell for like $25 to $30, but I did decide not to get it. Now, here I saw this little skeleton shirt. I thought about getting it for Dalton. It was about one or two sizes too big, but I got him the Mickey shirt last week, so I did leave it. Now, here you're going to start to see where I was saying there are some higher prices. Like this cute little pottery pitcher was marked at $12, which is just a little bit too high. Now, these here are Navajo pottery. They are by El Toya. And I absolutely love it. But if you look close there, there is some defects to the paint as well as some smudges on that one and there was actually another one so the smaller was marked at eight this one was at ten and i did take time to look up that artist and her work can sell for hundreds but most of it was not the plain white like that and there were so many defects i didn't think i would pick it up and that compote I love, but it was priced at $25. So there is tons of stuff here for collectors at good prices for collectors. But with me being a reseller, they they are a little too high. But don't worry, I am sure we will we will find us some stuff. With almost all thrift stores, even if the majority is priced high, most times you can still find some really, really good deals. And I'm I'm very confident that we will find something here in the store. Again, I love that they have so many collectibles here because most of my thrift stores don't. So this is definitely a welcome change. Now, what is this? This is a signed yellow canary and a signed red cardinal, $4 each. Now, these two are by Ron Ray. You might be more familiar with the Bluebirds of Happiness by Leo Ward, but those are very, very similar, just in different colors. I like this little face, but it was a little too funny for me. However, this gourd ladle is absolutely amazing, and that's a great price. And as a lot of times at thrift stores, right next to it was something else I like. This is a gourd bowl that is painted and it actually has beadwork on the other side. So I had to get that. For me, I absolutely love the stuff that is handmade and hand painted. Mexico, Native American, Southwestern, really, really love the style. This bowl, I really liked it, but at $5, I feel like it was a little too high. And I always look through the art prints. I've actually found some really amazing art prints by looking through stacks. And here, I, I really love this hummingbird and $4 is a great price for this. 
However, it is a little bit more difficult to ship, so I decided to leave it. I have a ton of vintage pictures and frames right now. If I didn't have a bunch in my inventory, I probably would have picked those up. And then here, they have tons of vases. I feel like most thrift stores do, but you got to pick out the good ones. Just like this one, this was hand blown. You can see there on the bottom and it's an absolutely gorgeous cobalt blue color, which is probably my favorite color of glass. So I did grab it. There are a lot of vases that are kind of mass made from florists. So most times in the thrift, you do have to hunt to find some good ones. Now, this little guy here, I liked him and he was only $2, but there was a lot of paint damage there. So I decided to leave him for someone else. And now we are back at the expensive shelves. You know, that's where I like to go, but $8, unfortunately, for the pottery pitcher was a little bit too much. Now, this one here is a cigar ashtray. It was only three, but some of the interior of that had a little bit of damage. So I decided to leave that and put it back. And again, when you're looking at the vases and pottery, if stuff catches your eye, flip it over because there are some artists that are worth paying up for. That little tollware plate was marked at $8. Had it been three to four, I probably would have picked it up, but there wasn't enough room with it being at $8. I did come back to these El Toyas because I really, really do like them. However, with the smudges and the damage to the paint, I just, I, I had to make myself put them back. I had, I had to leave them there, but Right next to that shelf on the table, I found this amazing beaded dragon bowl for only $3. The time and workmanship that went into that bowl is probably pretty extensive. So to get it for $3, I feel like that was a really, really great find. And you can see their holiday section is a little barren, but I saw this really cool window for fall. However, I, I decided to leave it there and went over to the pillows and found this amazing cross stitch vintage lace pillow. And right beside it was another one. I love the flowers on this one absolutely amazing all right if you missed the giveaway you got to go back a little bit now here there are some really cool lighthouse tapestry pillows they were marked at three i think those would go for 12 to 15 so i decided just to get these really two cool cross stitch pillows and now we are at the dollar rack for the clothes. So I am going to see what I can find. And here's a Panama destination shirt. Now, unfortunately, with my thrift stores that don't have much collectibles, then I have to look at the clothes. I have to look at the clothes. You have to look at what is there. So here is another destination vintage Virginia state map sweatshirt. These do not sell for big money, but they sell pretty decent for me. So when I can find them for a dollar, I pick them up. And that goes for like cruise ships or the different little touristy state shirts, anything like that. I will pick it up if it is cheap enough. So for a dollar, I do feel that is worth picking up. And I do like to browse through these dollar clothing racks because it's such a cheap buy. So even if it's something that will sell for like $10, then that's 10 times your money now this amazing dream big flag i picked up for myself it was two dollars and i think it will look absolutely great 
at the front of my walkway on our little flag stand. Now here is a wool blanket. Unfortunately, it did not have a tag and I tend to leave them there if they don't have a brand. They can be a little bit harder to sell. But back on the dollar clothing rack, I actually found two of these really nice Izod women's polos. If you have dollar racks, you, you can find something on them. Now, these are a little bit more because they are college, but I think it was worth it. And typically, I find more than one at the college shirt section. This is a nice dress gator shirt. And the sports and college team items will sell year round however they are selling a lot more now because of football season this miami dolphins jersey was priced good but if you see there on the back it did have quite extensive damage there so i decided to leave that as well as that gators t-shirt which was marked at five dollars those typically will go for about 12 to 15 and this is a Woolrich garden shirt. This was on the dollar rack and Woolrich is a great brand. So as you see, most of the thrift stores in my area do have these dollar racks, which is really, really nice because if you can't find anything else, you should be able to find something for a dollar. And I did decide to take a look at the jewelry. I actually picked up two pieces, but I'm not sure what I did with them. So whoever gets the thrift box might, might find some jewelry hidden in there as a free bonus. So let's go ahead back to me and we'll talk about what I found. I'm sweating. It is hot out in Florida right now. We found some really, really cool gourd art in there. And I found quite a few clothes that I stuffed in a bag for $3. So this is going to be a fun thrift box. I am pretty sure I'm going to let the gourd art go and put it in the thrift box. So let's take a look at what I got, what's going to be in the thrift box, and what will be available on my eBay store. All right, I'm going to interrupt for a minute here just to show you all of this beautiful jewelry is going to be on my whatnot sale this Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Beautiful beaded jewelry, this amazing antique purse, some sterling silver brooches, as well as a beautiful bolo tie, some enamel brooches, really, really nice beadwork, and we will have beautiful mermaid pendant as well as artisan crab necklaces these are handmade and some glass micro mosaic brooches a sterling silver pelican everything you see here will be in our sale and all of these items will be given away a jelly belly brooch sterling silver earrings a copper bird brooch as well as a vintage rose brooch. Now, again, I will be having my sale on Whatnot. My username is the Nurse Flipper, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. There will be over $200 in giveaways. And before my show, Tiffany Thrifting Vegas will be on and after will be Yvonne Thrifty Rich. So come and see us. All right, so here's the haul. This is the first one. We've had some stuff that's not clothes, but there are some clothes, but I got a great deal. We have this roll tied shirt. You know, it's football season. This should sell really fast. This dream big flag I got for my garden flag entering my walkway vintage virginia sweatshirt i've done really well with like destination souvenir types and then there are two these are really nice like waffle fabric izod women's shirts one does have a stain on the bottom i can't see it now but there is one i think it might come out with like its hide pen and then this beautiful beautiful cross stitch pillow is our giveaway item so somebody will win this if you miss the part in the video, go back and see what keyword you have to put to win this. And then this is a Jonathan Corey gator shirt. Again, football season. And check out this amazing beaded dragon bowl. It is a gourd, I believe. But this is some amazing beadwork. 
absolutely fabulous going into the thrift bowl also this hand painted gourd spoon and this hand painted and beaded gourd bowl and last going in is this vintage Woolrich women's gardening long sleeve shirt and the other pillow so that's everything that's going into the thrift box if you don't know i list these every week on haul sale i do notify my nurse flipper channel paid members first so if you want first dibs you would need to go over to my nurse flipper channel sign up for the dollar 99 membership or higher and then you will get first notification so let's go ahead and pick the winner for last week's contest. I also forgot to say these beautiful birds, there's the yellow bird, this one was signed, as well as this cardinal, which is a really pretty amberina, and the gorgeous blue hand-blown cobalt blue vase. These three will be in my live sale this week on Yvonne Thrifty Riches channel at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in these three, they are going to be available on the live sale this Wednesday on Yvonne Thrifty Rich. All right, so I have put in our video, we have 245 comments for the little Debbie shirt, and we are going to pick our winner. Deb Plows, hi Kat and everyone. Can't wait to go on the hunt for treasure. Little Debbie shirt is awesome. So Deb, you have won. Please contact me before next Saturday at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. Guys, none of I have not heard from the winners of the first two contests. So if I do not hear from the winners by Monday, I will give away a big box next weekend with all of the unclaimed prizes. So again, you have until Saturday next week to contact me, Deb. Everybody else, please go back and watch the videos. None of the winners have claimed the prizes from the last two weeks.